Well, welcome back. Paul Sterling here from magicrelationship.net, and this is um, the video series we're doing on how to have a awesome, compassionate, loving relationship. And this one right now is going to be talking about your biggest enemy. What is the biggest enemy to a great relationship? And it's probably not what you think it is. So hopefully you're going to guess right there and think about it for a second. What is the biggest enemy to a relationship? And um, I'm going to offer you a different way of looking at it. That's the purpose of these videos, is to offer you a different way of looking at it. Because if you, what did Einstein say? Uh, Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So to get a different result, you're going to have to do it, things differently. Now, this is called your C, whoops, C. How about that? You can tell I've got this perfect. Your CZ. It's basically your comfort zone. And the biggest enemy to a great relationship is your comfort zone. Staying comfortable, staying stuck. What happens is a relationship slowly suffocates and dies. What makes a relationship alive and exciting is moments. Um, if you look at an EKG machine, flat, boom, boom, flat, boom, boom. If it's just flat, no moments, no life. And so the idea here is to stretch your comfort zone or get out here in the next one, which is the learning zone. And that's where you get a little uncomfortable and you're learning new things. As we went through in an earlier video about if you want different results, you're going to have to take different action and you've got to change your beliefs, this, this loop here. You want different results, you're going to have to take different actions. And when you're taking different actions, it stretches you. I, uh, I play racquetball pretty regularly. I'm right-handed. But what I'll do every once in a while is I'll go and I'll play left-handed. And it's really what? It's really uncomfortable. It's out of my comfort zone. But I'm learning something new. And when you're learning how to communicate differently, you're going to be learning something new. Now, what we're going to try to do is keep you in the learning zone and not out here, which is the, let's see if I can spell it right. That's the terror zone. And the terror zone is like when you're facing divorce or your boyfriend, girlfriend has moved out of the house and things have fallen apart to the point where you know, you're having a hard time breathing at night. So we're going to try to keep it in here keep you in the comfort zone. Now, hopefully you've got that. Here's another part of it. Well, actually, we're trying to keep you in the learning zone. Sorry, not in the comfort zone. Stretching you outside the comfort zone into the learning zone. And here's a paradigm I want you to get. In the world of business, there's the people who have the power and then the people who are on the other end of this who are vulnerable. And by the way, if you're a really good speller or you're expecting really fancy artwork, this is not the right video. So my spelling's pretty flexible. And my artwork, well, it could use a little help. But here's a typical business relationship. There's people who have power over and there are people who are vulnerable. Now, what I want to do is in a, in a healthy, loving relationship, there's a whole new paradigm. Paradigm is just a fancy word for a different way of thinking of things. And that's where you put these two together. And you create a relationship where you have something called powerful. Oh, I love to spell. Vulnerability. Oh, hopefully you can read it. Actually, hopefully you can't read it because I know it's not spelled right. But anyway, the idea here in a healthy relationship is to create something called powerful vulnerability where you and your lover can be honest and open and trusting with each other and not have to hide your fears, your doubts, your dreams, your desires. And what I'm going to do is give you some communication tools so you can create this as a whole new way of relating. And that's an amazing result. The other thing is if you're a parent, think about what happens with kids. Normally parents have this kind of a relationship, power over, vulnerability under. 
And what I want to do is help you create powerful vulnerability, both with your lover, your spouse, your, your husband, wife, and actually there's a way to use these communication tools so you can create that with your kids. So we'll see you at the next video. Once again, Paul Sterling with magicrelationship.net. Thank you.